Hell of a hell of a she's so fine. Hell of a hell of a blows my mind. Hell of a hell of a lights my day. What's good, guys? I wanted to bring a little more information to the channel um, regarding Ryan Chanel Reed, who I did a video on earlier today. She was the one that left her parents' house from um, Hazelcrest, and they found her in the street, murdered in Harvey, Illinois. She was shot twice, and um, I went to look at her Facebook page because for me it always helps to personalize it just a little bit. Um, not too much, but a little bit. I showed this on my previous video. Um, this is her beautiful 10 year old princess who is almost taller than me, she writes. Love her to pieces. She truly is my most precious gift. She has a beautiful 10-year-old daughter who is now without her mother. She turned 30 this year. I mean, this woman is beautiful. Beautiful lady. This is her parents. Who it says um, has, have been married for 32 years. Another couple of pictures from her Dirty 30. And then this is what I really wanted to show. Is this post here by her cousin who is also the one that started the GoFundMe. And she made this post on September the 17th at 6.44 a.m. And it reads, This is very, very difficult time for myself and my family. Friday night, September the 11th, 2020 will forever be etched in our souls as the night we lost our beautiful, bright, shining star, Ryan Chanel Reed. Although she didn't live in Harvey, Illinois, she was murdered in Harvey. And six days later, her murder has still been unanswered and seemingly silenced by Harvey PD. And we demand answers. So far, there haven't been any arrests. Not a single notification has been made to the media to help find her killer. Nothing is being done to find her killer, and we need answers. I've been in contact with Fox 32 Chicago, WGN TV, ABC 7, and CBS Chicago. And they haven't reported anything because apparently Harvey PD is refusing to speak with them. A correspondent from WGN told me that someone at Harvey PD told them they're not required to make notifications to the media because of all the crime that occurs in the Chicagoland area. This is unheard of, especially since Chicago PD themselves makes a notification on every single homicide or any other major crime or event that occurs in Chicago. Harvey, Illinois says they are so inundated with crime that they can't reach out to the media for help. Valuable evidence and potential witnesses are being lost with every day that passes as Harvey PD prolongs notifying the media outlets. So if you're searching for a news article on her murder, as of right now, you won't find it. It's almost as if nothing, <clears throat> excuse me, it's almost as if it never happened and it isn't real, but it is very, very real to us. This is more than just, quote, another Harvey murder, end quote. It is the murder of a young, beautiful, intelligent, funny, fearless, and charismatic black mother, daughter, sister, friend, cousin, niece, and much, much more. And nothing is being done by the police department to help solve it. This is unacceptable, and we will not stand for it. The family needs justice so we can mourn Ryan properly. Please help us get hashtag justice for Ryan Chanel Reed. Hashtag Ryan's death matters. It says, please share and contact Harvey PD as well as the media outlets I've tagged. 
Thank you. That's just terrible. Uh, there's 24 comments on this. Someone says, I'm so sorry, Stacy. Uh, my deepest condolences. Sorry for your loss, Stacy. Hashtag sharing. My condolences. This is so heartbreaking. I've been looking and looking and looking and I haven't seen nothing. This is disturbing and not sitting well with me either. Praying for justice for my G. Next post. Wow. Unbelievable. Do you guys even know how she was murdered? Or is that being covered up too? Next post. Says, I'm so sad and sorry for you and your family's loss. My prayers are with you. My deepest condolences. Uh, the next two people tag someone. And on the second of those, that person that was tagged writes, Thank you. I will be doing my part. And that person says, same here. Somebody else was tagged. Next one, my condolences. Next one, I've definitely been looking, praying they give my cousin justice. Beautiful soul. Someone uh, tagged the legal help firm. Next post, prayers to everyone and especially the Reed family. Need, I'm here. I will make my phone calls now. Next one from Reg Reed. She was my niece and this is horrible. Next one. So sorry to hear about your beautiful baby girl. My condolences to the entire Reed family. Uh, some emojis, crying emojis and praying hands. Then the next post on this or comment on this post says praying for the Reeds. Sad faces. Praying for you and your family. So heartbroken. Prayers to you and your family, but she deserves justice. Don't give up the fight. And I'm hoping that they don't. This one says it's a late post. Uh, it's apparently a couple of days late for her because it was from New Year's. But again, beautiful, beautiful female. Hmm. I'm just kind of scanning through here to see if there's any more. Here's a video she posted back in 2018. Both of y'all driving. Looking good, my cousin. Y'all fine. Hey. Looking good. Beautiful pictures of her. Here's another post from a family member. It says there's a $16,000 reward being offered for any information that can lead to an arrest and conviction of the person that murdered my sister. Ryan Chanel Reed in Harvey, Illinois, September the 11th, 2020. Please share. And these are the photos that she shared. This one is uh, a flyer. It says, Andrew Holmes, stop. Report violent crimes. Private anonymous information is confidential. Call 1-800-YOU-TELL-US or 1-800-883-5587. There's another picture of her. Here's another post about her. It says, repost from Ryan's family and friends. So they just shared the other post. This has 11 comments. The first one says, wow, this is terrible. I wonder what they're trying to hide slash cover. Markham just reported about the murder that took place a few weeks ago and about the guy from Kentucky 
with his girlfriend's body parts. Just sad. I hope they're able to get to the bottom of this. I did hear about that case um, where the guy was watching his suitcase very closely and uh, he showed up at his parents' house and he came from Kentucky. He wasn't from here, but he was living here and he came from here and brought a suitcase and when he went to the library or something and the mom opened up the luggage and found that there were body parts in there. So I did hear about that case. Condolences, sorry for the family's loss. Harvey PD, step up and investigate this. This person says, lost someone in Harvey September the 1st. And the same thing is going on and they've got evidence. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Couple more tags, condolences. Here's another post. Uh, remembering Ryan Chanel Reed, 30 years old, slain on 154th and Hoyne Avenue, September the 11th, 2020, in Harvey, Illinois, due to hashtag pandemic of gun violence, SSPA, hashtag send prayers of healing, justice, and provision, hashtag to the Reed family, hashtag rest in peace beautiful, SSPA group.org. Picture of her. Here's another one from the lady that created the GoFundMe, who I believe is a cousin. She says, I don't give an F about anything other than finding the person or persons responsible for the murder of Chanel Reed, Hillary, F. and Banks. There's a $16,000 reward for information leading to the capture and conviction <clears throat> of the person or persons involved. Call 800 you tell us or 800-883-5587. Hashtag justice for Ryan Chanel Reed. And that is a picture again of Ryan Chanel Reed. It appears that she had an extra page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what the uh, person tagged. This is, is this other page. That's a picture of her August the 23rd. her she posted this post this apparently is her last post on Facebook and it was from September the 11th at 5 52 p.m. it says treat yourself like I-94 and keep working on yourself no matter how inconvenient it is for everyone else she got 39 shares and 81 likes Also, on that day, at 4.57 p.m., she posted, 2021, I plan on shopping with black-owned business for everything. Clothes, food, toiletries, etc. My plan is to shop only with my people for the rest of my life. Also, on that day, at 4.54 she posted, I was in 6th grade when 9-11 happened and all I remember is my parents being mad as hell. Their flight got canceled to Vegas. My mama was on the phone with the airline like, quote, damn, they already did what they gonna do. I'm trying to get to the casino, end quote. Also on that day, she posted, I be around too many bad influences, but I want to try. And the post says, only water October. No juice, no wine, no liquor. Strictly water for the whole month of October. She shared a post about skincare. About gratitude, power, and connection.
just reading, just reading, guys, just reading. That's her daughter the day before they found her on the street. Um, one year ago to that day. On the 9th, she shared this article about a woman missing from the south side. And I'll come back to that. She posted this on the 9th. It says... September the 9th. It says, A lot of men have no clue what to do with a woman who isn't impressed by money, you know, what, or material things. And it says, Single forever. And it says, Read that again. This guy says, Nah, they on the same page should be rare AF. When you see it, you turn the page. It'd be hard AF trying to write a fairy tale nowadays. On the 8th of September, she put, Sometimes growth requires new company, new locations, and new mindsets. That's interesting. And it got 14 shares. Hmm. Just reading, just reading, guys. She says on the 8th, been arguing with MS all morning. My daughter lost another tooth and the quote tooth fairy end quote left her $10. My little cousin stole the money and bought a bag of loud. So I pawned that little cat's phone and my auntie feel like I owe her. First off, B, F you for having this little thief. She lucky I ain't shoot his ass. MBS, charge that shit to the game, lady. aren't so great anymore I had to click on that one to see so anyways I'm kind of checking out this second uh, Facebook page I just wanted to show that and also show that her family is really needing help to get attention to this case um, I'm going to reach out to those new stations <laughs> I'm gonna reach out to the new stations and see if that does any good um if you're able to do it great if you're not that's a great do um but i do want to get some kind of attention brought to this because i can only imagine only imagine um how this feels so you guys have a great day and i'll be back if i find out anything else on this case thanks so much so i'm still going over this facebook page <clears throat> and I came across something that I thought was interesting, if nothing else. And it's a post from her from August the 31st. And it says, Never forget, Quan from Gary told me I was going to have my own season of First 48, LMFAO. Not an episode, a season. And she tags this, or posts this picture, which is a copy of a DM. And it's from this Quantrays, which is old, but it's from January 7, 2007. It says, Bitch, don't ever come for Gary, Indiana. 
look at the murder rate. Say something most stupid shit about Gary, and you're going to have your own season of First 48. Mm -hmm. It's just a little something kind of uh, weird looking back on it now. Um, and people were commenting on it. I remember this. And somebody says, you went viral. No BS. Indie Animals was yo ass. LMAO. I was shocked. I'm like, who knew these thought they was this tough? What really stood out was this, um... This guy says, damn, sounds like he wanted to dismember you. And she says, uh, trying to take me out the game. It just was a little strange, um, I'm sure after the fact now. Probably wasn't as strange then to her, but it's a little strange looking back on it. And that's going to be all I have for this video. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And if you can share it or whatever it would be greatly appreciated by her family i'm sure thanks for watching guys